Hello everyone, Dr. Bordelotti here. I'm going to show you what you need to do on the next assignment, which is the biography essay. First of all, I want you to use this file as a template for your own work because it is formatted in double space and times New Roman 12, and I have set up the outline in the correct format, or at least in the format that I want you to use. Once again, remember that this is going to be a statement of your opinion known as the thesis statement. In the previous essay, you wrote about why a certain holiday was your favorite. This time, come up with a thesis statement about your person. In the example, it says Barack Obama was one of the country's best presidents. That is the student's opinion. The student who wrote this paper, that's his opinion. So a lot of people hated Obama. This particular student thinks he's one of the best. Remember that the words introduction and conclusion are just placeholders. No actual paragraphs appear on the outline. Remember that the red, those are your subtopics. The B, the A detail is blue. The B detail is green. And if you happen to get anxious, or excuse me, if you happen to get industrious, and you come up with a, a third detail, you can color it purple. Um, this is not required. You do not have to go down to a C. A and B, that's required. And also remember to try to limit your wording here to three or maybe four words tops. Okay. Coming down here, I won't read this in this audio lecture. I will read it in class, but let me just go over this briefly. This introduction is different from the previous essay's introduction in which you listed your subtopics in advance. Treat this introduction as one big attention getter, giving any necessary background information about your subject, about your person, the person that you chose for this essay. And in this introduction, it just briefly goes into a little bit of Obama's background, where he was born, and how he eventually became president. And then it ends with your thesis statements. Okay, the pattern of this is just like we did in the holiday essay. The first sentence, the red sentence, is the subtopic sentence one, and there is subtopic one. Then you start talking about B right away. All of this is blue. This is all B detail. When you get done spilling your guts over the B detail, you move on to the B detail. A detail to B detail. And if you happen to have a C detail, that comes next. Notice these things, the transitions. This word links A to B. This word links B to C. These are required. Use them with the B sentence and the C sentence. I'll come back to this business in a minute. The pattern repeats itself. After you get done talking about A, B, and C, when you're ready to move on to the next subtopic sentence, indent, give me a transition and go talk about the second subtopic. This transition links one to two. And here is subtopic two. Here is A, talk about A, transition, here is B. Discuss, transition, And here is C. When you get done with that, the pattern repeats. Subtopic, transition, subtopic, A, B. Okay. Let's go back up to the top here. See this here? This is an example of what I want you to do. I want you to go to your sources and pull out opinion. What does your source have to say 
about your subject. Borrow the words. These aren't your words. They belong to somebody else. They belong to the person who wrote them. But then you got to give the person credit. And this is one way to do it. This particular quote comes from an article, an online article, by these two authors. Notice, quotation marks. Then the author's names appear in parentheses, which are these two things. Same thing down here. Here's another online author. Here's what he said. Here's how you give him credit. This style is known as the parenthetical citation. Citation meaning giving credit to somebody, or else it's stealing if you don't. These little smiley face things, those are parentheses. This, are that's quotes. This are parentheses. Down here, parentheses with the author's last name. That's one way to do it. Here's another way to do it. You can put their names as part of the sentence before the quote. Either way is acceptable. These authors state blah, blah, blah. Or blah, 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 author. Okay? Okay. Moving now to this. This page here. This is a list of your sources. This is a list of your sources. The sources that you quoted and cited in the essay. This word here means I gave credit to them. Think of it this way. This page could be called this. Dear Dr. Wonderful. Here are the sources I quoted from and gave credit to in my essay. Dear Dr. Wonderful, here are the sources that I quoted from and gave credit to in my essay. Bing! That's a little wordy. And that's why it's called the Works Cited page. Dear Dr. Wonderful, here are my sources. I quoted from, from them, and I gave credit to them in the essay. My works, my sources, works and sources, same thing. Cited, I gave credit to them in the essay. This is giving credit. This is giving credit. Okay? All right. Let's do this, and I will talk to you guys more in class.